My name is Varvara Fern. I was born in Moscow, Russia in 1999. I started sculpting when I was about two years old and I could never stop after that. Uh, I was traveling a lot with my family when I was a teenager and that gave a huge start for my travel series of works, which is uh, the biggest series of works that I have so far and I'm still working on that, adding new and new pieces from time to time. And even though it was inspired by journeys that started a while ago, I'm still traveling. And uh, another huge inspiration that I got from the, for the series was a journey that I accomplished from Russia to the US because I, I moved here, I still live here, I'm a Philadelphia-based artist. And this journey from Russia to the US had a huge impact on my art and my life. This was inspired by the way I felt when I just moved to the US from Russia because I came from the environment that I've known for my whole life to, a, to an absolutely new place which uh, I didn't really know much about and I've never lived here before. So um, this shows a person uh, also starting the journey and going from the place that they know to the place that they don't know at all. And this can feel almost like losing the ground under your feet. And that's the feeling and the sensation that I try to show. Uh, and this person is uh, trying to hold themselves, uh, holding the, uh, the fence uh, by the highway. And this is how they keep themselves stable. So even when I came here, I could still feel happiness. And uh, I, feel, I felt happy about coming to the US, uh, to the place that I, I, I feel like I really love it and uh, this could help me feel more stable with my emotional condition. Uh, this sculpture is called Travelers and that was the first or one of the first pieces that I sculpted for my travel series of works. It was inspired by my fascination with rail tracks and railroads. I uh, saw a lot of them on my journeys and I was also very inspired by Mike Brody's photographs. Uh, this is the artist and a photographer who was doing train hopping and after this I've been obsessed with the shape of rail tracks because I find them very beautiful, very symbolic and for me this is one of the uh, key symbols of uh, traveling and one of the key symbols of the idea of journey. I have um, uh, electric poles and telephone poles here because uh, if I see them, I think that they could be very beautiful even if, as independent sculptures because their shape is amazing and uh, they're just really beautiful to me. And I also try to show such people here, uh, the people who begin their journey from emotional despair and from unhappiness to finding something better and to reaching happiness and harmony. When I think of home, I think of Philadelphia and about the way I feel here. And uh, what I, well, the way I feel about it is even, the, even if it feels like the city is almost swallowing me, I still feel calm and chill here. And this is why the person here is uh, so calm and like almost sleepy. And even though they're sleepy, uh, they're still almost like swallowed by the city. Uh, they still feel happy here and they still feel safe here. So, uh, unfortunately, Gary wasn't my teacher for as long as I would like him to be. He left pretty soon after I came to Buffalo because of the pandemic. But uh, he still really affected the way I have been thinking about uh, sculpting life model and about sculpting in general. Because he was teaching the figure sculpture class. And before I met him, I was pretty sure that sculpting life figure is mostly about exploring uh, the figure, exploring the shapes, and just copying it to make it look uh, as realistic as you can. But when I met Gary, I realized that it's not just about copying and trying to explore anatomy, but it's also about uh, giving the sculpture uh, actual emotions and about uh, making it personal and giving it like actual mood. That's, uh, that's a very good lesson that I learned from him. Not only copying the shape, but always thinking about emotional part and always making it personal.